So now here's a little experiment I came up with. I have a Peltier cooler, thermoelectric cooler, whichever one you want to call it here. And the point of this component is when you run current through it, one side heats up and the other side cools down. Generally you use the cool side to cool something. The heat side is kind of a waste product. Generally you just dissipate that heat. It's usually the cold you want. But in any case, if you heat one side up more than the other, you can also uh, generate a little bit of electricity. You can do the reverse of uh, what it's normally used for. So I just figured we take a little look at uh, how much uh, voltage and current we can produce. So this is not going to be a drastic change. I'm just going to take the temperature of my hand versus the room. So of course my hand's about 98 degrees, the room's about 70 degrees. And you can see if I just set it here, we, we don't get much, about one hundredth of a volt. And uh, so that's 0 0.017 now, so almost uh, two hundredths of a volt. Now if I push it into my hand, of course the other side will heat up more than if it's just kind of set there. And uh, you can see we got to about 0 0.04 volts. And so it went up quite a bit when I, I pressed on there. But still, we're still not getting a lot of voltage just from the temperature change in my hand and the room. So now I'm letting the backside cool off. And now we're gonna measure current. So of course the voltage was that low, current's gonna be low. So I just went right to microamps. So a microamp is one millionth of an amp. You need a million microamps to equal one amp or a million microamps to equal a milliamp. A milliamp is one thousandth of an amp. So in any case, again, I'll just set it in my hand to begin with. And you can see, looks like uh, I'm probably going to stop at around 80 microamps in that range. So I'll uh, press it again to heat it up more. And uh, we've been stopping at about a third of a milliamp, about 320 or so microamps. And it looks like uh, it pulls the heat out of my hand a little and that it goes down. But uh, in any case, that's about the voltage and the current I could get with around a 25 uh, Fahrenheit degree difference. And so later on I'll come up with some other uh, test. I'll try to heat one side and cool the other side see what we can produce. But in any case you can see it's not very much in this case. And so at this point we definitely won't use it to generate any electricity. But uh, it is pretty cool you can generate a little.